If you're one of the millions of Doctor Who fans who've been waiting for his return to the small screen, you've not long to wait. He's back at the end of the month, but the BBC has already had to launch an investigation after an episode turned up on the internet. David Silito reports. I'm the Doctor, by the way. What's your name? Rose. Nice to meet you, Rose. Run for your life! After 15 years away from the screens, Doctor Who is back. And the effects are better, and the character's been updated. But it has upset some die-hard fans who've managed to see the first episode after it was illegally posted on the web. There's been a couple of early reviews, and they've, they've attacked us. And it's painful. You accept it, you take it on the chin. But when you've worked as hard as we have, with so much love, you hope you'll get some of it back. Doctor Who excites fierce passions. Generations of children have been excited and terrified by the programme. For some, it's been a lifelong love, and they were dismayed when the BBC dropped the series in the 1980s. It all stems from childhood, really. I can remember, like most kids of my generation, hiding behind the settee, particularly when these guys came on the screen, and also the Cybermen. It's something that you never forget. And as any fan would know, this is the door to the TARDIS. Indeed, here in Wales, they're organising a special advanced screening so that people can see what the new Doctor Who is really like. Because while this may have been terrifying 30 years ago, it's thought today's children are a bit more sophisticated. So a difficult balancing act, creating a new modern Doctor Who for today's children, but still appealing to those who were first terrified more than 30 years ago. David Silito, BBC News, Cardiff. All, All right, right let's, uh, <laughs> let's catch up on the weather now with Helen. <laughs> Doctor Who will be needing his scarf again this weekend, <laughs> so stay tuned. As for today, really quite a mix.